In this diagram, we have light passing through air, glass, water and back out to air again. As light hits the boundary between air and glass, since glass is a denser medium than air, light will slow down when it enters and bend towards the normal. To showcase this better, we will produce an imaginary line that extends from the light ray that is traveling through air. This imaginary line will divide the following section into two key areas. The area nearer the normal is where light should be when it slows down and bends towards the normal. On the other hand, the outer area is where light will be if it speeds up and bends away from the normal. Since light is now traveling through a denser medium, it will pass through the area which is closer to the normal. Now the situation gets more interesting as light strikes the boundary between glass and water. Just like before, to showcase the refraction of light more clearly, we will produce an imaginary line that extends from the light ray that is traveling through glass. This line depicts the speed of light traveling through the glass medium. After that, another dotted line is drawn from the point of incidence. This new dotted line depicts the speed of light traveling through air and please note that all light rays traveling through the same medium are parallel. So all rays of light traveling through air will form the same angle with the surface. Now we have two lines dividing the region into three sectors. Since light is traveling through water, which is a medium that is less dense than glass but at the same time denser than air, the relative speed of light will be faster than that of glass but slower as compared to air. As a result, the refracted light ray will appear in the area bounded by the two dotted lines that depict the speed of light in glass and air respectively. Finally, light will now strike the boundary between water and air. Because we have already established that light traveling through the same medium will have the same degree of bending and hence, same angle of refraction. When the light ray enters air again, it will emerge parallel to that of the original incident ray.